very interesting manifestation of field extensions comes from numbers that can be constructed using a straight edge and compass. You've seen these constructions in school. Um, a straight edge is basically a ruler without any markings and a compass is a device to draw circles given a center and a radius. Now, uh, a straight edge and compass construction is a series of steps. So the first step is um, always that you're given two points. And uh, I'll call these points constructed points. So basically at each stage of a construction, you will have a set of objects that are constructed at that stage. And at each new stage, you will construct a new object according to certain rules. The first step, you're given two constructed points. So these could just be two points. Uh, and usually we denote them by O and A. And the understanding is that the distance between these two points is one unit. Okay, so what can you do at each stage? So at each stage of the construction, you can do one of several things. So firstly, what you can do is um, you can join two constructed points by a line. Okay, when you join two constructed points by a line, then that line is among your list of constructed objects. So that line has now been constructed. Then what else can you do? Um, you can take, uh, you can draw a circle. Whose center is a constructed point. And radius is the distance between two constructed points. Okay, so you can only draw circles with such centers at radii. And what else can you do? You can construct new points. So you can construct a point at the intersection Well, there could be more than one intersection. So at an intersection of a constructed circle with or line with another constructed circle or line. Constructed circle or line with another constructed circle or line. Okay, so the objects that you're constructing at this stage, so if you join two constructed points as by a line, this line is constructed. And if you draw a circle whose center is a constructed point and radius is the distance between two such points, then the circle has been constructed. And you can construct a new point by taking the intersection of either two lines or two circles. Well, if you take two circles, you could have two intersection points. You can choose uh, either of them and uh, you could also uh, take the intersection of two points. And now the definition of a constructible number is the following. 
So, so this, this whole definition is the definition of a construction. It's a series of such steps. Okay, so the definition is a real number x is said to be constructible if it is the distance between two constructible points. Okay, and uh, you can ask which real numbers are constructible and that's the question we're going to answer. Uh, now note that uh, a construction is a finite sequence of steps and at each step you only have a finite set of possibilities. So the number of constructions is, um, is countable and so also uh, the number of points that you would have in any construction is, count is finite. So the number of possible distances that you, uh, real numbers that you can construct is countable. And so there are very few countable uh, real numbers. Most real numbers are not constructible. And let me illustrate uh, that the square root of 2 is a constructible real number. It's probably a very one of the simplest uh, non-trivial examples. So I'm going to use a package called GeoGebra to do this. It very nicely implements um, constructions. So we start with two points O and A and the distance between these two points is deemed to be one unit. Okay and then we can draw a line through it and we can draw a circle with center O and radius given by the distance from O to A and we call that circle C. Okay so you can read the code here it's a circle C with center O and radius the segment O to A. And now we can try to find the intersection of the circle C with the line L. Okay, I, there are two points in the intersection, this point B and the other point is A. So GeoGebra gives me both the points. I will not display this other point, uh, B2, which is also the same as A. And now what we'll do is we'll construct a perpendicular to this uh, uh, line L uh, using these points. Um, B and A. So now what I'll do is I'll take a circle with center B and radius B comma A. Okay that's the orange circle I'm calling it S and similarly I'll take a circle with center A and uh, radius uh, the distance from A to B. I'm calling that circle T. Now these circles S and T they intersect in two points uh, P1 and P2. Um, and so I can now, these, these points have also been constructed and now I construct the line V by as the unique line that passes through P1 and P2. And now let's look at the intersection of uh, V with uh, the circle C which we had drawn earlier and I'm calling that point Q1. There's another point of intersection which is called Q2. Okay, but I won't really be needing that and now uh, I have this point Q1 now because OA and OQ1 are both radii of a circle OA and OQ1 have the same length so OQ1 is also one unit and by our construction uh, this angle OAQ1 and BOQ1 are uh, equal and so they are right angles and so this OQ1 uh, a is a right angle triangle with right angle at, at the vertex O. And so if you take the segment uh, Q1A, uh, that segment has length square root 2. So this is a construction of square root 2. The rules are a little stricter than what we did in uh, high school geometry where we were usually allowed to choose any radius that we liked. And we are also allowed to choose arbitrary points. But here we are only allowed to um, take points which are uh, already constructed and not introduce any new points. Okay, so the question is 
which numbers how can we tell if a number is constructible or not